وصوده هو المرتجى يوما يثيب النواسي الحاج منصورنا رضي الله تعالى وعول من لبى على الصبر بكم هو الروح والرحمن كان مناجيا منصور مالينا منصور إينا مصديا وجاب بورا وكان نبيا بي This is the news at 12 in our top stories. As part of his annual Ramadan gift to Muslims around the country, President Jame Dose had more than 14,000 bags of sugar. The Vice President, Our Excellency Aja Dr. Aisha Tunjai, said he returns home after deputizing for President Jame at the special summit on HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Jia just reports on the aftermath of a fierce storm that recently ripped through parts of Nyani in the Central River region, killing two people, causing untold destruction. And relative calm and normalcy returns to the Central African Republic four months after the ouster of former President Francois Bozizé. But activists say human rights violations outside the capital is a cause for concern. While these and other stories coming here this half hour, I am Fatou Jassi. <laughs> The general public is hereby informed that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Chair Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya Jame, in consultation with the Judicial Service Commission and acting under the powers vested in him under Section 1414 of the Constitution, has relieved Mr. Joseph Wowo of his appointment as Chief Justice of the Gambia with effect from 18 July 2013. The general public is further informed that, in exercise of powers vested in His Excellency, the President of the Republic under Section 140 of the Constitution, has appointed Honorable Justice Mabul Ayemang as Acting Chief Justice of the Gambia with effect from 19 July 2013. The President, His Excellency, Chair Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya Jame, on Friday presided over the distribution of his annual sugar donation to Muslims around the country during the Ramadan. This year's occasion saw the distribution of over 14,000 bags of sugar to respective administrative heads for onward transmission to people residing within their regions. Abdinja reports. Name, but deep in this enormous gesture lies a very strong message, one that urges love and sharing. This religious perception, referred to time and again by preachers, is in most cases neglected or even ignored by Muslims, but not President Jame, who again unveiled his Ramadan package to the Ummah at the ceremony at the State House. Over 14,000 bags of sugar were distributed to the various regions, with Banjul taking home 777 bags, KMC, the West Coast region and the North Bank region, 2,222 bags each, leaving the Lower River region, the Central River and the Upper River region, 1,111 bags respectively. The Supreme Islamic Council also took home 500 bags. The Gambia Armed Forces, 1,111 bags. Interior, also 1,111 bags. And the Yai Kumpins, 300 bags. The Gambian leader used the occasion to urge a greater sense of nationalism in Gambians in protecting our markets and homes against exploitation and the breach of security. He realized the enmity and hatred that exist between neighbors sometimes cost us a lot, in, especially in relation to security, seeing we should be each other's keeper, and that the peace and tranquility of this country will never be compromised. Referring to the prevailing conditions in Gambian markets, Professor Jame said the blame lies quietly on the use of the country for failing to take ownership of enterprises and to explore the vast benefits that exist in the informal sector. 
He warned his government will guard and protect its commitments to free market policies and the free movement of goods and services, but will not tolerate economic sabotage. Speaking earlier, the Vice President, Her Excellency Aya Dr. Aisa Tunjai Saidi, said the Gambia should be a reference point for the rest of the world, for the way it continues to conduct its religious matters and the protection it continues to give to all faiths. The Secretary General and the Head of the Civil Service, Mamadou Sabali, who doubles as the Minister for Presidential Affairs, the Minister of the Interior, Usman Sonko, the Minister of Fisheries, Mas Aksigai, Lands and Regional Governments, Mamadou Akibaya, all spoke at the ceremony. Each of them at one point extolled the gesture while drawing emphasis on its emulation. And such were also made by the governor of the West Coast region, Lamin Sane, and the Lord Mayor of the KMC, Yankuba Kuli. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahadun Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ahad. Abdun Jai, GRTS. The general public is hereby informed that as part of celebrations marking the 19th anniversary of the July 22nd revolution, the office of the president will organize an Islamic conference and Islamic recitations at the State House grounds on Sunday, 21st July 2013, starting at 10 a.m. According to a press release from the office of the president, Islamic scholars will be there to discuss topical issues on, of concern to the Islamic Ummah, particularly homosexuality and lesbianism. Regional governors, according to release, are kindly requested to organize the same at their regions at a later date to be determined by them. The release went on to state that as part of celebrations, mocks in the country are urged to recite the Holy Quran Thursday evening to Friday morning for three consecutive weeks. This will be coordinated by the Supreme Islamic Council. Likewise, churches are also urged to offer special prayers for the nation for three consecutive weeks. The Office of the President wishes all Gambians a happy anniversary of the revolution and Ramadan Mubarak, the release concludes. The Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Ajah Dr. Aisha Runjai Sedi, has reiterated the Gambia government's commitment to continue improving on the gains achieved in reducing the prevalent rate of HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria in the country. Vice President was speaking in Abuja, Nigeria, where she deputized the President, His Excellency Chef Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya AJJ Jame, at the Africa Head of State and Government Special Summit on HIV, AIDS, TB, and Malaria. Abab Garcia was in Abuja, and he tells us more. Federal Capital in time for the African Union Heads of State and Government Special Summit on HIV AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria. The 2013 summit which has its theme centered on ownership, accountability and sustainability of HIV AIDS, TB and malaria response in Africa, past, present and the future, also seeks to place the continent on a collective journey and so leaders map out collective response mechanisms to tackle three of the most intractable diseases that continue to affect a significant percent of the continent's population. Leaders took turn to showcase some of the successes their respective governments achieved in dealing with HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria. Like other countries, Syria and Abbas also have very interesting and positive statistics for the of the Gambia to address the summit. The Vice President and Minister for Women's Affairs, who deputized the President, His Excellency, Sir Professor al Haji Dr. Yajame, spoke about the strides made by the government of the Gambia in combating these diseases. With regards to the Gambia, when it comes to HIV AIDS, we have made some hits in addressing the pandemic. For example, from 2011 to 2012, we have reduced the prevalence rate in the Gambia from 1.67% to 1.56%, as has been indicated by our various surveillance we have done. 
More centers have been put in place with regards to addressing the issue of modern child transmission. That is the prevention 